Welcome. I'm so glad that you could join me today. So I have on my countertop ingredients to make almond milk. I have a brand that I do buy in the store when maybe I just don't have the time to make it. And who doesn't have the time? When you see this recipe, it's super simple. So I should not be buying the almond milk, but there are times I do. Um, but again, I love this brand because it's simple ingredients, just those that I have here on my countertop, almonds, water, and salt. This bottle does cost a whopping like $650, $675, something like that, a bottle. Ouch, yes, it's expensive. So make it at home, save yourself some money, and it only takes really about five minutes. So let's just see how fast it goes. Okay, so I have my blender sitting here ready to go. Um, I do have my half cup of almonds and the skins are still on. There is a step that you could do to blanch the almonds and uh, painstakingly remove all the skins from each almond. Or um, I'm sure there is a brand, and I think I used to buy them before, where you can get the almonds already kind of blanched, um, but again, they're then not raw. So I'm starting with raw almonds, and this is a half cup. I'm going to place that into my blender. And what I'm going to do is just kind of pulse it, blend it for um, about a minute maybe, and um, get it to a consistency where um, it's not quite butter, but it's very close. So I'm going to cycle through this uh, pretty quickly uh, through the uh, time lapse, and but you can join me in a second. Okay, so this is quite perfect. So it's almost like a mealy type flour. Um, I not if I blend it a little bit more, I'm gonna start soon making butter out of it. And actually, for this recipe, um, or when you're making your almond milk, you can start with like almond flour if you want it to, uh, whether it's coarse or fine ground flour. You could also actually start with a nut butter if you wanted to. That would work uh, just as well. Um, I like just starting with the almonds themselves uh, and um, just kind of breaking it down. Um, you can also do this portion of the recipe just with a um, food processor. So you could definitely do that. Okay, so now I have four uh, cups of water. I'm just going to add that into my blender with my um, almonds. And then I'm going to take a pinch of salt and put that in there. And I'm just going to do a little more. We're going to put the lid on and then I'm going to allow this to process for about um, a good minute and um, it's going to turn into milk. So it's gonna get creamy. Um, so again, I'm gonna time lapse through this and you can join me again in a sec. Okay, so we have just finished with the blending portion of that. Going to remove the lid. And then what I have here uh, next to me is a, um, a measuring cup that uh, can hold at least four cups. So I'm going to take the blended milk and I'm then going to pour it, and I have a cheesecloth here. I'm gonna pour it through this to allow it to catch any um, 
of the nut particles that may have not blended very well. And if you notice, I put a couple rubber bands around that to kind of keep it right there in place. If you want it to add a flavoring, I prefer unsweetened um, almond milk. So that's my preference. Um, and just to give you an idea, my son likes unsweetened but at first um, because when they're younger, you kind of give them um, stuff that's a little bit sweeter. And he thought, I'm not going to like the unsweetened mom. I'm just not going to like it. He likes it. So um, that's typically what I do is the unsweetened. Um, it's just healthier for you to omit a lot of uh, the sugars and everything that's in everything. So not good for our bodies. And I'm just trying to remove this cloth. Boy, those rubber bands are holding great, and that's exactly what you want. You want to make sure it's on there super tight. Okay. And honestly, that's it. This is it. That's all you have to do. So super easy, right? Do it right at home. If I wanted to uh, make this like a flavored milk, let's say if I'm making a cake recipe or something like that, um, you could easily do that as well. Um, just add like a teaspoon of vanilla. Um, you could also, if I wanted to do chocolate, I could add a little bit of cocoa powder and again, sweetener. Um, sometimes, you know, if you, if you feel like that sort of chocolate or something sweet, you definitely could do that. But again, I'm going to try to avoid that sugar. Super nice and creamy. And there we have it. Your own almond milk at home. I hope you enjoy. Um, it will start to settle. You just want to shake it and uh, pour it out. Use it that way. This is going to keep about three to five days in the refrigerator. I generally will use um, my um, canning type jars with that lid to kind of seal it. I also do have a food preserver that will also vacuum, kind of seal the lid. If you do that, you can keep it for a little bit longer. Um, so there are times when I want to just make it, keep a little bit on hand for about a week or so. Um, you can do that step as well. Thank you for joining me. Uh, please do comment below. Let me know if you try this recipe. Let me know how you like it. Um, it's going to be far easier on your wallet than buying it at the grocery store. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.